All right, so now that all the short block pieces are in place, we're uh, going to start adding a bunch of other components. Uh, first thing we're doing is going to put the oil pump on. I'm using a Melling 295. This is just their standard duty oil pump, but uh, it does have more PSI than a standard OEM pump. So we'll get better uh, oil flow with this than the standard. Um, this is the standard one. They're, they're, they do have some high performance ones. The high performance ones have some specific tuning when you got to center it just right. But according to their website, uh, this one has a sacrificial ring in here that'll help you self-center this. So there's, it's a lot easier. No special tools required. Uh, we're going to start by using some of my break-in motor oil. Just put a little bit in there. Gonna get it primed. And then we're gonna got all my bolts are pre lubricated. We're gonna run these down just snug. Okay, with those snug, I'm actually going to back them off just a speck. I want this to be able to move. Alright, now to self center this thing, we're going to just turn this crank over. Alright, it's made the Required adjustments, and now we're going to torque them down. That's that. Okay, so the next thing on the agenda is the front and rear covers, and uh, the secret to these is you want these to seal. You I mean you don't rebuild an engine and want it to leak, right? So uh, I think the spirit of getting this to seal is probably, and specifically this one, and the rear is going to be threefold. One is making sure you got a clean mating surface in the front, so we're going to clean that off um, so that piece doesn't leak. Next is this, the center of this hole right here wants to be at exactly at the center of that hole. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-install my harmonic balancer and get it sucked down in there so that this, if I put the harmonic balancer in here, it's going to self-center itself because this is rubber. It's going to 
least path of resistance, it's going to self-center. That'll center these two pieces. And then the third thing is going to be we want to make sure that this, the top of this is flush with the top of these. And once we get that on there and that center, we'll just be able to rotate this until those are both flush. If those don't become flush, there was an engineering problem. That's not going to be the case. So um, let's get uh, let's get this cleaned up. Get the harmonic valves pushed on here. I have bought uh, what I actually been waiting ten days for this daggone bolt. It's supposed to come in two. I bought this bolt um, pr primarily just to install that harmonic balance, get it on there and get it pressed onto this thing. It's longer than the standard one. I've actually got the original. I've got a replacement harmonic balancer bolt. And I got this one. It's longer. It's going to be my installation bolt. So uh, we're going to get all that stuff all squared away. Let's start off by getting this thing cleaned up. Okay, got that harmonic balancer pushed in there, sticking out. Help self center that. This gasket goes on, this little crazy side goes on this side. Okay, so what I've got now is this is centering that gasket, so that's going to be a good seal there. I can raise this up, and I'm going to be able to. Uh, they got a special tool, and I, I just hey, I don't mind any project that requires me to buy a new tool. That's that's usually a good thing, but that's going to be a tool you'll never use again. Uh, so I'm not interested in buying that, and I'm pretty sure I just level those out, and I'll be able to check them with a straight edge, and we'll get those in. So let me get a couple bolts in here. Okay. 
Okay, that one is no gap. That one is no gap. So those are perfect. Okay, so there again, we got we got the clean fitting around here. We've got it centered on this, and it, it leveled out on that. So this thing is is as good as you can do without those special tools. And I, I can't believe you can get it any better than that. So that's going to give us a good mating surface when we put our oil pan on. So um, with that, let's move to the back. We're going to get that one installed as well, and I'll just do that one real quick, um, and then we'll move on to the oil pan. Okay, I'm going to use some automatic transmission gasket maker that's left over from the transmission uh, project. And we're going to cover Thank <laughs> you. 
right, time for a mail call. We got Russ over at Double R Restorations. Uh, he is restoring a 72 Camaro called Project Overkill. If you want to see some great details, Russ is passionate about the bodywork piece, and, and I'm just learning tons of stuff. I'm not to that point in my project yet, but when I am, I'll be ready because of people like Russ. So, Russ, I really appreciate all the details that uh, that you put in your videos. It, I know that takes a lot of time, a lot of editing, that type of stuff, and and your work is greatly appreciated. Uh, so. All my viewers, if you you know swing by and, and check out Russ's channel and see how uh, all those pieces are going together, and I think you'll learn a lot of things. So, again, thanks, Russ. All right, that completes all the little oil cases. We're now gonna be able to flip this thing over and start working on the top, but we'll see about more of that next time. Jack it up.